Continuing on our knot series and lashings, I thought I'd talk about the diagonal lashing. You see this a lot. It looks sort of like this. It can be any size. I mean, from very large to you know, creating a ridge pole for a structure to very small being a footstool, a seat, bench, table. Very handy to know how to do this. Like I said before, it was said that the ancient world was held together with cordage. And it's a real good skill to, to know how to do. When I do lashings, I like to start with a butterfly cutout. And it's very easy to do. I take my knife and I hit it. Now this would be outside on like a, a stump or a fallen tree. And I hit it right here and I drive that blade into the wood maybe an eighth to a quarter of an inch then I'll go in the opposite direction and hit it again you know back eighth to a quarter of an inch then take the knife and it will pop out relatively easy and just shave it off if you can and, and get it. It doesn't have to be it, it's just extra support. A lot of people don't even do uh, butterflies, but it's it's real handy. You do that on both pieces of wood, and they lock together like that. It's just a marriage. It's it's sloppy, but they when you bring it together tight with the, the rope, it'll uh, tighten right up. Okay. Now to start this, we're going to do a clove hitch right across the center of this. Now, I've shown in the knot tying how to tie a clove hitch. Here's the same knot tied a little bit differently. Again, right over left, and you make a loop. See that? Right over left. And then you do it again, right over left. Okay? Then you take the right one, the right loop, and put it behind the left loop. You want to leave this tail so at the very end after you've done all of your lashings you can use a square knot and tie it off. Okay, so that being said, put your two sticks through, line up your butterflies, and then tighten up your knot. And it will look, it'll look like that. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do four lashings around it in the same direction. And we want to keep it, as we're going, it's not a rush, neat and tidy. And it really helps to have a limb or a dowel handy because I can get a lot more leverage on that. Look at that, just tighten that right up than I ever could with my, my hand. It's a real good tool to help you. Okay. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go in the opposite direction this way and do another four wraps. Just like that. Very easy lashing to learn and, and remember. Again, when I get, you know, two or three done, I want to go in here and try to tighten that up a bit. Now, my frapping, you're going to see that in a moment, is really going to tighten it up. But it sure doesn't harm anything to tighten as I go. Okay, so I have four, four wraps here and four across the bottom. Once I get that, I'm going to then do what they call frapping. And that's going between the two limbs, right across the center. And that's just going to tie this whole thing really tight together. That's tightening up my lashings. Yeah. And do it again. Again. So I don't hurt my hand or anything else. Just Now on the back 
side of this, remember that leftover piece, I'm going to tie a square knot. That's right over left, and then left over right. That's my square knot. Now when you're done, I'm not going to do it, but you trim your two ends, and you end up with something like that. Very strong.